If you're just joining us this morning, it's our first show back here at the New York Stock Exchange and joining us to, I guess, help celebrate and talk about the reopening process and business, of course, is the president of the NYSE, Stacey Cunningham. We could not be more pleased We could to not be, be more excited to have you back, Carl. It's great to see you and David and Jim and, and join the rest of the gang that's been making their way back in. Yes. So I mean, we've had our afternoon show here for a couple of weeks. Um, we're starting to look around and see what the lay of the land is. It feels... Kind of like before, I got to say. Yeah. But is, is that how it feels from an operational standpoint? You could. We, we reopened a year ago, and as soon as that first day back, you could feel the energy. Even though there was far fewer people than that had been here, uh, you could just feel it starting to come back. And so it's been building over the course of the year. We pulled back a little bit when the, the rates in New York got, got worse, because that's, that's how we're approaching this, is we're responding to local conditions and we're scaling up. We're in a really good place right now with the vaccination rise uh, rates continuing to increase and the prevalence rate so low. So we're able to start to welcome welcome you back, yes. welcome companies back. They're bringing in bigger crowds all the time. Yes. Um, is there like a plan in a drawer somewhere for when things, if they were to get worse? Yes. For and, and, yeah, and absolutely. You're, you're ready to reach in there. We're, we're ready to, to scale. It, and it's all about increasing and decreasing based on local conditions and responding to what we're seeing. So right now, conditions are really good. It's giving us the ability to welcome people back, to remove masks and, and distance when vaccines are, are in place. And so there's a lot, a lot we can do, and but we're ready to scale back if we had to. We're just not. We're, we're hoping that we don't need to use that right. plan, but we have one. At this point, on the floor, 50 percent, roughly. Roughly, roughly 50 percent. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's been increasing, and you, and increasing in the building too, because most of our employees are are remote. So within the the office tower, that's been starting to increase as people are more comfortable coming back with their vaccinations. And listed companies are really increasing the numbers when they come in to celebrate their IPO. Just last week, we had the one-year anniversary bell ringing for Jared Isaacman. Isaacman is the CEO of Shift4 Payments. They were the first company to go public in IPO after our reopening on the trading floor. And he said, I'm coming in if I have to wear a hazmat suit. <laughs> and so we were on the podium all masked up. So it was great to see him and his team and his, uh, you know, his, his, uh, his group on the podium with no mask last week, really celebrating their one year anniversary. That's wonderful. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.